so this is one of those don't try this at home things Pretty cool though. Alright guys, so we are going to take a look at the latest print from the Moai. Pretty exciting as uh, I'm trying out a brand new resin. So this is printed with the NEX Clear by uh, P.O. Poly. It's a brand new resin that just came out. Um, it's part of the high temp family group of resins and I have, uh, have printed out a few things with it already and uh, yeah it looks really good. Um, this is a massive print. Um, the print took about 20 hours so let's get this guy up and uh, let's take a proper look at it. the wiggle thing again. It's a full build. Oh yeah. Pretty freaking chunky. <laughs> Alright. Play this up. I'll bring you guys over here. So, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see because this is a clear resin, but i just turn this fan off a bit. Yeah, it's a freaking chunky print. Alright, so... Let me get this guy off the uh, print bed and we'll take a proper look. Alright guys, so we are back. And I've just taken the print off the print bed. I apologise if my voice is a bit muffled. I've got a new uh, face mask and... Uh, yeah, it's a good mask but... You might not be able to hear me properly, so sorry about that, we'll just have to uh, live with it for now. Um, checking out the print. Looks really good. So as I mentioned before, this was printed with the uh, new Peel Poly uh, NEX Clear resin. and. Uh, it's in the same family as uh, the high temp resins. Um, some of its property is that it's much more flexible than uh, the high temp flesh resin. For those of you that have used um, high temp flesh, you'll uh, you know that it can be a little bit brittle sometimes. What I found is I've actually mixed about a 20% of this uh, NEX clear with the uh, high temp flesh and that gives quite a nice result but yeah back to the print itself uh, I'll just try and zoom in a bit so this is a crab like creature that I sculpted in ZBrush and this particular part is uh, obviously the body so I have been calling it Mr. Krabby but really it's more of a prawn so or lobster so Mr. Lobster I guess <laughs> but yeah it's just a fun little sculpt with tons of detail uh, tons of texture surface detail and that was the goal was to try and pack as much surface detail as I could into the, uh, into the sculpt to test 
test out the moai and the uh, and the resin. And I gotta say, it's done a pretty freaking awesome job. It's always hard to gauge detail on a clear resin, but from what I can see, it's done a pretty remarkable job. Yeah, the back looks really cool. So the model is hollow. Uh, you can probably see in there, so that's hollowed. A couple of vent holes here and there, but the tail is uh, is a pretty much solid piece, and that printed printed perfectly fine. It looks really cool. It looks almost like glass. Now, I haven't found a post-processing technique yet to keep the clarity of the uh, resin all the way through. Uh, that's something that I will be testing uh, in the future, very shortly. Um, this particular piece, I probably won't be uh, leaving it clear anyway. I would be um, giving it a, giving it a uh, primer, um, but you can clear, clearly see how clear this resin is. So you really just need to figure out a way to keep that clarity in the post-processing. Cool, so I'm going to uh, remove the support and uh, we'll take a look. Alrighty, so that took freaking ages. Um, yeah, that took a long time. Um, probably about 40 minutes to remove the supports, and then in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner, I left it for about 20 minutes. Um, I wanted to be sure that I got all the resin trapped in here out. Because um, one of the things is that since there's so much texture on this model, There's tons of little cavities and, and uh, yeah, just tons of cavities for the resin to still sit in there. So for models like this, you really do need to make sure that you clean all the resin out. And I did actually scrub it uh, with a toothbrush before I chucked it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, but it feels nice and clean, so this it's not tacky anymore, which is uh, what you want. And uh, the next step will be to put it in a UV cure. So the product I'm using for cleaning is uh, Resin Away and it's an IPA substitute. Um, it does keep the part quite clear, but the problem is when you, uh, when you uh, after curing, you wash it in water, uh, it will start clouding back up again. So. What I generally do is then put a clear coat of gloss over the top of it. Um, but looking at the print, you can see a lot more detail now that I've cleaned it all up. So it's a very nice. Uh, very nice job by the Moai. So very happy with the result overall. It doesn't look quite cool like that, doesn't it? So maybe I will keep it clear, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. So the next part will be the head. Will be probably about this big. And then uh, I've already printed out the arms. Here's one of them. So 
arms fit in here like so and they'll be glued on eventually the arms pan out nice as well Let's see if we can zoom in on the details maybe not bit too hard to see that's all right you just have to trust me but yeah overall very happy with uh, this new resin um, shouts out to Mark for sending me a uh, tester bottle um, Definitely will try and get my hands on a bit more for the next trips. Cool. Okay, thanks very much for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, or thumbs down if you didn't. Okay, see you next time.